Time to go fishing. This morning, it's me and my brother in the pump truck. We're en route to handle a spill at a local processing plant. When I pass through any town, I like to capitalize on my Pokemon Go gains. Got an auto catcher. It'll automatically catch Pokemon for me and spin stops without me having to do anything on my phone. If you want to add me, I'll drop my friend code in the description below. On top of hauling septic waste, we also deal in grease transport. In this particular situation, we got a call that the storage tanks for this facility were leaking. All that on the ground right there is canola oil and poultry fat. This whole mess stemmed from one malfunctioning part. The only issue is to get that part it took about a month. While they were waiting on the part to arrive, the tanks overflowed about three or four times within that month. So what you're going to see is a compilation of us cleaning it up. I'm going to peek my head over here to take a look at what we're dealing with. Throw that hose over, hook it up to the truck. Turn that vacuum on and start sucking. The process is pretty straightforward. We're going to throw the hose over there, suck up as much as we can. Once it gets towards the bottom, we're going to use squeegees and push it all towards the hose. RIP to this soldier that lost a good fight. The first time this tank overflowed was the worst. It almost went up to my calf. This stuff smells absolutely atrocious. Way worse than any septic tank. Plus it's been out here baking in the sun all day. The second and third times weren't as bad. The main issue is that people are walking back here and they don't want anybody slipping and falling. To clean up the spill efficiently, we've been using these commercial squeegees. They do a real good job of pushing a bunch of liquid at once towards our hose. The ground in here was super uneven, that's why our squeegee kept getting caught up on stuff. There's a few dips throughout where everything started to pull up, so we're trying our best to get it all out at once. We're gonna reach in these corners, pull it out best we can. Our main goal is to get as much of the canola oil and grease out with just the squeegee before we start adding water to rinse it all down. Once we got a majority of all the grease and oil mixed up out of the way we're gonna go ahead and start adding water. I'm gonna add some water to everything that's left on the ground. You can start seeing that oil float up. We got a nice whirlpool going with our hose. Got my brother up top keeping vigilant watch on the pump. Give it a final rinse down before we stop the PTO and put everything up. Give our pump a break because it had been running about an hour while we were cleaning it up. Start it back up. Do a final rinse down of everything, make sure everything's in good shape before we take off. You can start seeing less and less oil in the water, that's a good sign. 